Hello again. So now you know how to inverse coordinates for distances, right, using the distance formula. D is equal to the square root of easting 2 minus easting 1 squared plus northing 2 minus northing 1 squared. Right, so it doesn't matter. You can put the northing part first. You know, you can swap these two. Doesn't matter. Right, swap these two terms. You can also put north, put easting one first and put northing two second in this term. You know, same with this. It doesn't matter because you're squaring it and then you're adding it, so it doesn't matter. Right, order doesn't matter. Matter. Okay. So now we're going to talk about inversing coordinates for directions. For direction now. I'm going to draw my coordinate axes. And we're going to do the same kind of thing using the change in east things and the change in north things or, or the the change in departures and change in latitude same thing same meaning so I'll draw a line kinda make this easy for the first part right so this is point one this is point two so we're gonna have Point one's easting, point one's northing. Point two's easting, point two's northing. So this is northing two, northing one, easting two, easting one. Easting two. So I said here four direction, inversing four direction, but it's right, it's four direction, four and azimuth, four and azimuth. Right, so where an azimuth has a direction to it, right? It has, you know, you can go from one to two or two to one, they're different directions. So we're going to go from one to two. The azimuth from one to two. Right, and how we're going to put the north line at point one. North line at point one. So the azimuth would be this angle here. And how can we solve for that angle? Well, it's using the change in northing and the change in easting because this little part is the change in northing. And this part is going to be the change in easting. Right, so we looked at our, used our cosine functions already, I mean our trigonometric functions already, and we said that the cosine of an angle, theta, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So what are we going to use here? <clears throat> well we're going to use the tangent, right? We're going to use the tangent because Opposite, the easting is opposite and the northing is adjacent to the angle we want, right? This angle will give us our azimuth. So let's call this azimuth, I mean, this angle between here, <coughs> um, uh, we can call it alpha. Alpha. So we're going to say the tangent of alpha is equal to the change in easting. Right, that's opposite over the change in northing that's adjacent. So we're gonna say 
we're going to have to move this tangent to the other side. So whenever you move the tangent to the other side to isolate alpha, you take the inverse tangent of whatever is on this of the other side of the tangent. So the inverse tangent is written like this, tan to the negative 1, or arctan, arctan. They mean the same thing. You'll see both of these, right? Same thing. Okay, so let's use tan to the negative 1. So we're going to say, move this over so this isn't here anymore. Tangent isn't here. Alpha is equal to the tan inverse to the negative 1 of the change in easting over the change in northern. So this is the formula here for inversing um, for direction. Right? The common formula for inversing for direction. Right? So the change in easting would be uh, right as we said change in easting is equal to easting 2 minus easting 1 and the change in northing is equal to northing 2 minus northing 1. So you can swap these with you know, this, and this with this if you want. So that'll give you that angle in here. That'll give you this angle. But that's not always the azimuth, right? It's not always the azimuth. So let's give another example. So I'm going to give you an example now where this, you know, this formula won't be the azimuth, right? We're going to have to do something else to manipulate this this angle this angle alpha to get at the azimuth, right? So here we go. So I'm going to draw a different uh, axis style. We're going to go like this now. So this is still north. Right, but this is now west. Let's say this is west. And we have a line uh, let's say it's going like this. Say it's going like like that. And this whoops, whoops. This is one and this is two. Right now our change in our change in northing is here and our change in easting is here. So this is gonna be our change in easting and our change in northing. So if we draw north here, right, this angle in here isn't, this This would be alpha, but that's not our azimuth, right? This is our azimuth. So in if you're in quadrant four, right, this would be in quadrant four, we're going northeast, right, that direction is somewhat sorry, northwest, somewhat northwest, right, so we're in quadrant four, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be the azimuth, it's going to be 360 minus alpha, right, 360 minus alpha, and if you're in, if you're in quadrant three, down here, Right, quadrant three, let's extend this down. Oops, it's supposed to be straight out, but whatever. Oh man. Right. Uh huh. Might be a line over here. This is going to be 
this is going to be the change change in northing change in northing change in easting right it's going to give you this angle right here so it's going to be this is going to be alpha so that's still not the azimuth you're going to have to add 180 right add 180 so in this is in quadrant 4 when you're in quadrant 3 the azimuth is equal to 180 plus alpha right and if you're in um, if you're in quadrant 3 I mean if you're in quadrant 2 quadrant 2 draw a line here arbitrarily So this is going to be the change in easting and the change in northing. Sorry, I apologize on this on this quadrant. This is this is wrong. This is this is wrong. Right? With that triangle, you would use the tangent would be it would be northing over easting. We don't want that, right? We gotta draw the line we have to draw it here. Right, we want this angle. This angle is alpha. This is the change in northing and the change in easting. So in quadrant in quadrant two, the azimuth is equal to one eighty minus alpha. And quadrant one, which we already went over, the azimuth is equal to alpha. So learn this, learn this, and it's, this is what, it's the same kind of thing as what we learned when we were converting bearings to azimuths, it's the same kind of thing, it's because the tangent will give you an angle that's less than 90 degrees, always will give you an angle that's less than 90 degrees, same with bearings, bearings are always less than 90 degrees, so this is the same kind of reasoning as we used in a couple of videos ago, so make sure you learn um, this kind of stuff. Alright, I will see you in the next video where I'll give you some examples of um, using this inverse um, tangent formula to find alpha. See you in the next video.